Welcome to our next edition of Fataba Video Update. I'm Steve Califf. Today I've got some exciting new technology from Fataba to bring you. This is Fataba's S-Bus system or serial bus. A lot of different components for it. One of the key features of it is the new S-Bus receiver. This is the 8-channel receiver that we have right here. What makes the S-Bus system so unique is the ability to plug an S-Bus hub right into a single connection point on this receiver and this is an S-Bus hub I've just plugged in. There's actually four or five different lengths that we'll have available. But you can see on this hub it has three connection points. This is all you need to power up your entire aircraft regardless of how many servos you have. The receiver is actually not limited by the normal number of channels. If it's a 14 channel transmitter you can have 14 channels come out of this actual 8 channel receiver. We're going to show you on a model here in just a little bit how this all goes together. And let me show you the rest of the components. Again, this is an S-Bus hub. Here we have another S-Bus hub and this has four connections on it. So if I want to connect this to this, I can simply run a, a male male connector to it and that would in fact give me five more connection points for servos or additional hubs. First thing we can show you is some of the servos that already are set up for S-Bus. Now the S-Bus servos are in fact programmable servos. And these are our first four of servos in the S-Bus line. Now don't get concerned, you can also use your standard digital and analog servos with the bus, S-Bus system and we'll show you how to do that here in just a second. But these are our first four. You can plug any one of these servos into the S-Bus system, but to do that, what we do is use an SBC-1, which is a programmer for the servo. What this does is tells the servo what channel you want it to be on. Let me move some of this out of the way just briefly. And we'll take a battery and a servo here. Using a screwdriver, I'm going to change this, and I'm going to make this servo channel 5. So I just simply turn the pot around to channel 5, plug my battery in, plug my servo in and now by simply holding this button down you'll see the LEDs blinking it goes solid this servo now is programmed for channel 5 so no matter where I plug it in on the S bus system it's always going to be and always going to respond to channel 5 and again this is going to make more sense when we go to our little demonstrator model now if you have standard servos. We have the SBD1, which is a serial bus decoder for your normal servos. What you do with this is simply plug the channel changer, the SBC1, into it, and you select which of these three outputs you want to program. This can be channel 1, this can be channel 5, this can be channel 9. Now, whatever servo you plug into these leads, it's going to respond to the channel that you've programmed these leads to be. So no, again, you just plug this straight into your S-Bus receiver or into one of the hubs down the line. You can plug a standard servo in, 5, 9, 1, whatever you want them to be, and it's going to respond appropriately. Now, in this S-Bus system, we also have a piece of software called PC-Link for the S-Bus. And that will allow you to adjust the parameters, everything from neutral to endpoints to speed to turn a one of these S-Bus servos into a retract servo or into a normal servo. Almost any, program, any parameter you can think of can be programmed using a PC, CIU2 USB interface, and one of the S-Bus servos. So you can make those, you can take a very basic transmitter and do some really neat stuff. And again, I'm going to show you how to control a turbine aircraft here in just a little bit with our S-Bus system using only an 8-channel transmitter. So let's uh, move over and we'll take a look at our little technology demonstrator model and see what it's all about. Well, we're back and we've got our technology demonstrator aircraft here. This is a a Lexan F-15 model that uh, we put together just to show you the main advantages to S-Bus. Now a little while ago I showed you all the bits and pieces to make up the S-Bus system. Here you get to see them installed and really see what S-Bus does for you. 
The first thing that should be really apparent is the reduction of clutter. You don't have, there's 10 servos back here, and you don't have 10 different cables or five different cables coming back to all 10 of these servos. You have a single S-Bus cable coming out of this receiver and it feeds back to these lines. These split off and feed each of these servos. You have four flap servos, four aileron servos, servo for each rudder, one for each elevator. Plus we have nose wheel steering, we have nose wheel retraction on here. And of course we had the mains on this, you'd see those moving as well. You can see that we've employed one of the four-way hubs up at the top here. We've employed another one back here, and these are three-way hubs. So it makes it very simple to install everything in this aircraft. Now another neat thing about this is, and a real safety feature, is that if these are plug-in wings, I have a single connection point for all the servos in that wing. I don't have to worry about plugging a particular servo into a particular channel. I could in fact plug this line coming off of this right hand wing into any connection point on the S-Bus system and the wing would in fact function properly. So you can see there's our ailerons, there's our flaps, elevator, rudders, and of course our retract and those wheel steering up top. And this is all being done with only an 8 channel transmitter, a little 8FG. So there's a lot going on here, 14 different servos. Major reduction in clutter. Another neat thing you can do is you could in fact plug a battery pack in anywhere along this system to provide more power to additional servos. So if I wanted this tail component area to be powered up separately, all I have to do is plug another battery in down here and it will take care of additional power going to those servos. With the wiring we have in this system right now, it will actually handle 10 amps. So it's a good, robust system. Later down the road, we'll have some additional features that will handle even more current. But you can see how nice and clean this installation is, how safe it is. The other thing I want to talk about one more time real quickly is the PC Link software. Again, using the USB interface, the CIU2, and the PC Link software, I can actually take and program each of these servos. Let's say I only had a 7C. I can program each one of these servos for endpoint, center. I can turn them into a retract servo. I can slow them down, which is what we've done up here. That's about a four second retraction time. That's not done on the radio. That's actually done on the servo by programming it. So a lot of different features and options available to you with this system. The neat thing when you're assembling this system is, you install all the servos, you go back, use a little channel changer or the PC Link software and tell them what channel they're on and you're done. So hopefully we've shown you what the S-Bus system is like. There's a lot more to come on it. For Fataba Video Update, I'm Steve Califf. We hope to see you next time.